Happy holidays, Pokemon trainers. Professor Chaz here, the lab coat's on back order, and welcome back to part number 55 of our Pokemon Sapphire playthrough. Before we go any further, Happy Christmas Eve. It is Christmas Eve as you're watching this. Technically, Christmas Eve Eve for me as I record this, but as I was mentioning in one of the Pokemon Moon episodes this week, my time for this last week before Christmas has been really just sapped. I've been having very little downtime to get stuff recorded, and I'll talk a little bit more about that later on, but we did last, or what we did last in the episode, no. What we did in the last episode of Pokemon Sapphire last Sunday was we made it through Victory Road finally. It took us like, what, four episodes, I think? But we had one last battle with our good friend Wally, and his Gardevoir was quite powerful. Although, no, it wasn't just his Gardevoir. His Delcaddy pulled the most random luck out of its hat. It didn't even have a hat. I wasn't expecting luck to come out of its hat, therefore... We'll talk a little bit uh, a little bit more about that as we get towards the Pokemon Center, because we did manage to make it out of Victory Road. It is now time to claim our reward by reaching the Pokemon League Center Gate. And beyond that Center Gate, we are reaching the Pokemon League. Why was there a sign there? Like, we can see that, you know, do we need to know what the Center Gate is? Anyway, before we heal up, it is time, unfortunately, to put a couple of Pokemon to rest. Yes. Wally's Gardevoir and Delcaddy each claimed a Pokemon on our team, and since we no longer have any badges to obtain in the Hoenn region, there is no more bringing Pokemon back before the League. So, as sad as it is for me to say this, two of our main team members in Pokemon Sapphire here in the Hoenn region are not going to make it to the Elite Four Challenge. And those two Pokemon are, once we open up the PC and go to the Injury Box, as you'll see, well, it doesn't really show. I should probably take the items first, but I'll do that off-camera between episodes if need be. The first one to fall to a lucky, random, critical hit, assist gained, aerial ace attack from Delcaddy was Burrow the Ninjask. Sorry, Burrow. You're the part of my life I'll always remember The time has come It's for And the next one to fall. As crazy as it was, we were dealing with a pretty powered up and pretty evasive Gardevoir. Sadly, Dive Bomb. Now, the way I lost Dive Bomb was pretty annoying, too. I, no, not annoying. I mean, it made sense, you know, but it was just, like, unexpected. What happened was we took a very powerful Psychic, Calm Mind boosted Psychic from Gardevoir, brought Dive Bomb really low, and I simply forgot about Future Psychic. You know, I didn't look ahead. Kind of makes sense, though. I didn't have the future sight to see the future sight coming, and that claimed dive bomb, unfortunately. So, injury number two, permanent for the playthrough, has occurred. But with that, we have two Pokemon waiting in the wings to come back. Now, Leave a comment down below. Should I use the Kyogre that we managed to capture in three Pokeballs back in episode number... What was that? 47-ish? I don't know. I can't remember. But, anyway, should I use that Pokemon? Because it is a legendary, and it's pretty high level. So, before I actually make that decision, I am going to go ahead and grab... Now, Jiggy was knocked out during this playthrough. I was going to bring him back at some point, but I thought, you know what? I'm still going to say, since I have so many Pokemon left to go through in my other PC boxes here from previous generations, I'm going to let Jiggy's one knockout still be enough for him to be not permanently injured. Like, he has come back using one of the, uh, let's say, the Dragon Ball Wishes from the uh, badges. But, we're going to let Jiggy sit out the rest of the time, but we're going to bring back Smarty the Knocked Owl, as well as the Brain, our Hypno who have not been knocked out in this region, but uh, they have been knocked out in previous generations, of course. And they're not that low level either compared to the rest of the team, so I'm going to put them to the front for some training, because what we want to start doing now is go ahead and explore the rest of Hoenn. There are still a few areas that we can check out. I will have to bring back Dive Bomb at some point, because, oh, yeah, I forgot we're, uh, we're... Look how damaged we are after that battle. I forgot all about that. But we are going to have to bring back Dive Bomb at some point, because there's many places to search using Dive, and... Since the main part of the story is done, there's going to be like some extra exploration going on. I don't mind bringing back the injured Pokemon just to use them for the HMs, as opposed to, well, I have to teach Dive to a new Pokemon now. I think you guys will be okay with that, because like, there's kind of no point to have to force another Pokemon to learn Dive. Since Dive Bomb is the one I intended to be the main Dive Pokemon anyway. So what we're going to do now, I think... Well, should I buy items? I think they sell full restores here, and those would have come in handy in that fight. 
Actually, they come in handy in any fight. Let's see. I should have a decent amount of cash. Ooh, they got full restores. Let's go ahead and grab... We can get... How many? We can actually go for, like, 20 of those. That's, like, half our cash. Uh, let's do it. We'll grab 20 full restores. And we don't need the... Ro uh, blah, 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 blah. Don't need the revives, of course. Full heal. I think we got a bunch of those. And hyper potions. How many of those do we have? I think we're probably good for potions for the time being. There shouldn't be too many big challenges coming up as we just explore some areas. What I'm going to do is, I think... What's the fastest way to go? Probably even from here is... The, no, not from here. I'm going to fly down to the other Pokemon Center outside, Victory Road. And we'll start exploring some of the, uh, the water routes heading towards Pacific Log Town. Because that's the last town we have to unlock as a fly location. So that could be a good goal for today. Now, as I record this, as I said, it is currently Friday? Yes. Friday, Christmas Eve Eve. And it is basically, this is the only time I have to record this for Saturday's upload. I would have recorded maybe Friday night or even early Saturday morning, but I'm not going to have time. I'm going to be busy, unfortunately. So I'm getting this recorded ahead of time, which I generally do anyway. I try to record Sapphire episodes or the, uh, the weekend uploads. I try to record those around Thursday, Friday-ish, anyhow. And eh, what's going to run from you? So, as I said, I do apologize. You've probably noticed this week that I missed out on a couple of main videos that I tend to put up. I wonder if I should do some trainer battles along the way. Why not? In fact, should I go back and get that swimmer? Probably. I want to visit Evergrand, so I caught myself a Pokemon that knows the move Waterfall to Crest the Falls. Hope it doesn't also have Horn Drill. He is, of course, talking about Sea King. And how do I know that? Why, I do I, I believe, I do believe that the only Pokemon that naturally learns Waterfall, at least back in the first generations, is... Goldeen and Seeking. I had to remember Goldeen for a second there. Don't constrict my smarty. Get out of here. So, yeah, what was I trying to say? Recording time is really eaten up. Yes, okay, I missed a couple of important uploads. I generally want to have a Monday news update video thingy, and I was going to record that Sunday night, but again, time constraints. I just didn't have time. And then when I looked into it, there wasn't really a lot of news that I should mention. Stuff that, like, you know, not things that couldn't wait until next week, which will be on... Technically, Boxing Day coming up, so I could save the news update for then, <clears throat> and or at least save. Uh, that, what am I trying to say? Save this week's news for next week's update. Don't roll out. All right, that's fine. And basically, I can still get the uh, news update caught up. But the other thing I did miss out on, unfortunately, was the Pokemon TCG Live Online match. And I had said in the last one when I was using Machamp EX that I was going to give the code cards. Well, if we hit a certain number of likes. I was going to give the code card for the Genesect Mythical Collection and the Malouetta... Gen uh, I'd say Malouetta Genesect Collection. Where is my head? I was going to give the Malouetta Mythical Collection. There we go. As well. If we hit a certain number of likes on the videos, I think... Well, I know for sure we hit the like goal on the Malouetta... Not the... Hang on. Let me just stop. Okay. Let me focus on this fight. I'm trying to do two things at once here. Let's put this Wilmer back to sleep. Thank you, Smarty. Excellent job. So, on the Machamp EX video, in which I unboxed the Meloetta Mythical Collection, I said I would give that code card out if we hit a certain number of likes, and we did hit that goal. I also said, if we hit that number of likes, I would give out the previous code card from the, Gen or the Genesect Mythical Collection back in the Beedrill EX video. I would also give that one out, even though the Beedrill EX video did not make the like goal that I had set for it. But, as I say, it's Christmas time. You know, it's the season of giving. I want to give those code cards out. In fact, by now, we might have hit that like goal. I haven't checked it lately. But I didn't check it because we did hit the goal for the uh, Meloetta code card. So I thought, we'll just give up both codes anyway. I still haven't gone back and done that yet. But that is on my list of things to do. Don't know if I'm going to be able to do it today. But I'm going to do my best to try to get it done today. And send the message out to people who have won those code cards. I still got to do the random draw. And the other thing I missed out on was, I'm just going to go for the pack. Yeah, two hit KO. The other thing I missed out on, of course, was last week's news update video thingy. The code card from that random booster pack that I opened, I still have to give that one out. I have made the uh, the random draw for that one. It's going to contact the person and give them that code card. You, you said you had something with Waterfall. I haven't seen one Waterfall yet. And we're faster than a Tentacruel? I didn't think Smarty was that quick. I'll take it, though. So, all that being said... I am kind of behind on a lot of the stuff that I want to have done for the channel, but with any luck, I don't want to use the word luck, with any determination, and what would the term be? I guess dedication, any focus, you know, any number of focus, any level of focus. 
which I don't seem to have apparently. I can't even speak. But basically, what I'm getting at is after the Christmas season, after the very next day, basically, I'm going to try to get things caught up and get back to a regular routine schedule on the channel because I want to be consistent with these uploads. I'm crushed fallen. That's too bad. Because I like being on a schedule with these videos. Ah, oh, phooey. I Pokemon no waterfall, but I don't have the Cetopolis gym badge. Now, even though this is still currently just a hobby that I do, all these videos, you wouldn't know it based on how much time and effort I put into these, right? But, uh, Brain, you're going to get the next level. Let's switch you around here. But eventually, in the new year, once we hit 1,000 subscribers, why did you go around me? Tell you what. Come on. Did I already fight you? What was that? He's supposed to attack me. I'm still feeling good. I'll keep on swimming to Evergrande City. So in the new year, once we hit 1,000 subscribers, I've said there's a bunch of things I want to do for the channel. One of the things is I am going to start seeing if I can do the advertisement and sort of start making... Uh, this thing's a decent level. See if I can finally start making uh, some income off of these videos. I don't know how it's going to work. I haven't really looked into what monetizing videos is like as far as using non-original content and stuff, but other people I watch on YouTube do it, so... I'm going to give it a try, and we'll just see what happens, essentially. And, because what I would really like to be able to do is dedicate, like, say, my entire week just to recording content for you folks out there for you to enjoy. And if I can make a living off of doing that, that would be amazing. That, you know, that would be what I want to do. Ever since I was young, I want to be an entertainer for people, because I like to make people laugh and have fun and enjoy themselves and such. Of course, not trainers. I have to destroy them in battle, of course, here. I've yet to taste my first victory. Yeah, unfortunately, you shouldn't have chosen to attack me, although I spoke to you. I'll reach, I'll eventually reach Evergrande City where I can eventually win. Um, don't count on it with just one star you. So how far do we need to go to make it to the Pacific Log Town? Am I even in the right spot? I think I gotta go further down. Wait a minute. This is gonna take us back up to Setopolis. See, she attacks me. What was that other guy? Maybe I gotta be a space away for him to see me or something. You have to swim, cycle, and then run a marathon in a triathlon. It's a grueling race that consists of three events. Which three are they? Oh, wait. You already told me. Why'd you have to repeat that there's three of them? I don't know. Anyway, triathlete Caitlyn won Pokemon another star you. Even lower level than before. I'm just going to throw a couple of seismic tosses your way. How's that? And what was I about to say? Something else came to mind. And then it promptly flew out of my mind because I don't recall one bit. Oh, we're actually faster than the star you too. Nice. I'm underestimating my Pokemon speed, apparently. That's one thing I like about the way I've been doing this, uploading them from previous generations. They're keeping all of their effort values that they've gained all throughout the different generations. So, you know, Brain has more speed than he would normally as a basic level 38 Hypno. No new move yet, though, but that's okay. The Pokemon battle is grueling, too. We're getting some more money along the way, too, which is very nice. I have to ride a bike next, but I'm about to throw in the towel. Well, don't throw it in yet, you're in the middle of the ocean. You know, you're gonna get all wet. That's one of those riddles that always tends to, like, you know... I shouldn't say always tends to uh, hang people up, but it's one of those mind-bending uh, mind bending puzzles where it's like, what gets wetter as it dries? A towel. I'm in the middle of a triathlon, but sure, why don't we battle? Of course, why not? You know, it's, wait, if you're in a triathlon, isn't time a factor? Don't you have to try to get through this in a certain speed? Well... Apparently she seems to think we have time for a battle, so I'm not going to question her. Let's go for the pack. Is this going to be a two-hit? Yeah, it is. So, I'm trying to think, what was I going to mention? Something just suddenly sparked in my mind, a Pokemon Moon to play through there. I guess I could say I've been prioritizing getting that done, because where it's the newer game, not only do I figure that's going to be the video, or those are going, those are going to be the videos that get most attention. Most attention. Okay, you know what? I'm going to try that whole sentence again, because Pokemon Moon, being the newer games, are the videos that are going to be getting the most attention on the channel, plus, I'm just having fun playing it. Like, I recorded an episode on Thursday, no, sorry, Wednesday evening at noon. I'm such a failure today. I'm trying to rush this too much, that's the problem, because I know I have limited time to get this recorded today. i got to edit it, get it prepared to go. But... I recorded Wednesday evening at midnight, which is noon in-game, which is why I was thinking noon. And I then recorded a grinding montage to prepare the Pokemon for Friday's upload. But after all that, I just, like, I wanted to keep playing. So I recorded the 4.30 a.m. video that night as well, when I could have actually saved it for Thursday 
technically Friday, 4.30 a.m., but you know what I'm trying to say. Thursday evening, going to midnight, wait till 4.30, and get it recorded then. So I could have waited the next day to do it, but I was just like, I'm just so pumped, I want to do it now. And if you didn't see the episode, I won't mention too many spoilers, but we did encounter the Team Skull leader, Guzma, for the first time, and... We encountered a new Pokemon we haven't seen before. I had, I've had i seen, I think, screenshots of it, but I didn't pay much close attention to it because I didn't want to be spoiled. But we finally saw a new Pokemon in battle, and it was a really scary encounter. I'm not going to say what happened. Because if you haven't seen that episode yet, I don't want to spoil it, but go back and check that out. It was episode number 30, which should go up on Friday. I was sure I'd win. And now you've wasted time in your triathlon, too, so oh well. You know what's the greatest thing about triathlons? Testing the limits of your own strength and endurance against Mother Nature. All right, so now we're going to switch back to the brain. See, they're already getting pretty well caught up with the team. Now, you might argue that I was a little bit under level compared to Wally. Say, hey, hey, let's get on with it. What level was the Gardevoir? I want to say it was 45. I would have to go back and check to be sure. You know what I didn't do yet? The team recap. But since we're already halfway through the episode, I'm going to wait until the next episode before doing a team recap because... It's a little bit too late for that. I messed up. I should have done it at the start. I was planning to do it after we did. Ooh, that's going to hurt. We have good special defense, though. I was planning to do the uh, team recap as soon as we deposited the injured Pokemon and brought Smarty and the Brain back in, but I completely got sidetracked, and here we are now. But next episode, as long as nobody gets knocked out along the way, we'll do a recap then. Yeah, you know what? We're a little bit too weak to deal with this one right now. Let's go ahead and switch into another nice specially defensive Pokemon, Smarty. Not that there's much that Smarty can do to this. Now that I think about it. Of course, it could hurt itself. So we can go for Peck. I could also... Well, we, hmm. I don't really think we need Reflect. Both of its stab attacks are special based. Wow, okay. I overestimated the defense of Carvana. I didn't think I was going to do that much. That does scare me, though. Our defense is now harshly lowered. This gets knockout here. But what is next from my opponent? Come on, show me the weak Pokemon. Show it. That's an Ice type, though. So we're going to switch once again into... I guess Bukemon is next in line to get a level. It would have been Burrow at this point, but... Well, for one thing, I think he hit level 43 in the battle against Wally. But for another thing... He's no longer with us. I could also mention... Oh, wait, let's fake out. I could also mention... <clears throat> I mentioned a few episodes back, I believe, that uh, my original idea for bringing back a Pokemon when we obtained a gym badge was because I wanted to have certain Pokemon evolve. Well, technically, for this to recreate my original adventure through the Hoenn region, I had to have certain Pokemon evolve before the game was complete. So... That being the case, I knew there was a chance Pokemon that needed to evolve would be knocked out before they evolved, which happened when Burrow got taken out by a Roselia because of the poison, and Archie took out Scruff with his, was it, uh, I think it was his Sharpedo, yeah, with a Crunch attack, took her down. And then we lost Skippy the Marsh Stomp to a random Kadabra critical hit Psybeam. I can remember all the times I lost Pokemon in this playthrough. Beat, I'm beaten, that's it, done. So, because of those reasons, I knew I would have to bring Pokemon back before the end of the game so they could evolve. There's nothing for a loser. Time for me to beat at home. But I didn't want to basically have Pokemon... Like, I did in, uh, did in Pokemon Silver. I had some things where when Smarty the uh, Hoot Hoot got knocked out against Whitney, I said he has to evolve. I'm going to keep him on the team. When a Pokemon got knocked out in this playthrough, I didn't want to, like, basically spill the, uh, the spill the beans, basically. The Poke Beans about... I need Pokemon to evolve, therefore this one's going to stay in the team. I wanted to make it seem like if they were knocked out, they were still gone for good, just with the option to bring them back. This is my first triathlon. I'm all tense and nervous. If you're in the water, you should be nice and relaxed and just like let the waves flow over you. Chase! We fought a chase in Moon recently, didn't we? I think we did. How strange. Two chases back to back. Anyhow, <clears throat> excuse me, what the heck was that? The reason I did want to bring Pokemon back with the badge recovery thing is because I need a Pokemon to evolve and I didn't want to, you know, ruin the surprise that, oh, by the way, Skippy does become a Swampert in the end. So, in that sense, that's kind of why I don't want to use Jiggy again, because he was knocked out in this game during a grinding montage of all things. Random Critical Magnitude, I think, took him down. And so, because he was knocked out, even though he was, like, one of the main Pokemon in the injury box when it happened... 
I didn't want to like say, well, you know what? I'm not going to use this revive of this badge because for a certain reason. That might have sort of tipped the hat about why I'm doing it. So I thought we will bring him back into the non-injured box, but I'm not going to intend to use him beyond that because technically, yes, he was knocked out again. Roar! I failed to win. Why do you get a roar about it? I suppose that's how you uh, get your frustrations out. If I'm all tensed up, I won't be able to give it my all. So how are the levels doing? No, we're still good, okay. The brain is almost at level 40. We should be able to reach Pacific Log Town any time now. In the deep blue sea, my shattered blue heart finds comfort along the waves. Among the waves, there we go. So I guess we're doing a lot of good grinding here, dealing with all these trainers. There's still a whole bunch near Moss Deep City and Sotopolis City I gotta deal with, but I'll probably take them on. Maybe not this episode. I think the next episode I record is going to be recorded on Christmas Eve, so later on today, from when you're watching this, it'll be going up tomorrow. And the idea there, I want to probably check out Meteor Falls, because there's a lot of waterfall areas that I can check out, and there's a whole secret area back there, if I recall correctly. I might be mixing it up with Mount Mortar back in Johto, but I don't think I am. I think I remember Meteor Falls has a lot of sitting, or little secret hidden areas. I'm going to say sidden areas. I guess you can sit around in them. Ooh, Brain wants to learn Meditate. Power up that nice physical attack stat. No thanks. You don't really have any physical attacks that need use of that. Of course, Seismic Toss is physical kind of, but it's a fixed damage attack, so not really. Let's just go for more seismic tossing. So, what was I about to say? Yeah, I want to check out Meteor Falls. That'll probably be the next episode, because from what I recall, there is a lot in there to find. So, anyway, back to what I was talking about, bringing Pokemon back. When we do the Pearl playthroughs, that'll be the next generation that we go into. I'm probably going to go back to the original idea with the Johto region, where if a Pokemon is knocked out but it has to evolve, I'll just keep using it until they evolve, and then I'll put them in the PC because I don't want to spoil too much, but not all of my Pokemon do evolve in the Sinnoh region. So I'm not going to divulge exactly who evolves and when they do, but you'll see when that playthrough begins. And I'm not sure when I'm going to start that, because if I can get something to work properly on my computer, I have another sort of adventure I want to show off, because my Pokemon have been through a lot of adventures throughout all the different generations. And there is still something in Gen 3, technically two things in Gen 3 that we have to take care of, but... I don't know if my recording setup is able to record that properly, so we'll have to find out if I can get that to work. I really hope we can, because it's a pretty interesting little thing going on. Now, feel free to leave a comment below, see if you can guess what it is. I don't know if I'm going to confirm or deny your guesses just yet, but I'm curious to see what you guys think it might be. I'll just leave it at that. But hopefully we can get that stuff recorded properly. Like the vast blue sea, the world of Pokémon spans depths beyond belief. Yeah, what is the deepest part of the ocean. Isn't that the uh, Marianas Trench, I've heard? The world's children dream of one day becoming the Pokemon champion. Like me. I'm one of those children, except, well, I was quite some long time ago. But anyhow, let's move on. So, yeah, I got the idea for a side story, but once we do the Pearl playthrough, I'll probably go back to the idea of if a Pokemon is knocked out, we'll just use them until they evolve, if they evolve. If not, I'll just deposit them in the PC right away. Which I kind of didn't like, well, I liked it, I didn't like it. When we lost Snapper, no one ever likes to lose their starter, you know? So, and the way I lost Snapper. Okay, we're going back, like, into the previous games and stuff, but I could have avoided that entire self-destruct area in the Team Rocket hideout. I had no clue. Like, I've played the game before, but obviously it's been some time. Fight me. What a surprise! I didn't expect to see a trainer out in the sea. I think we should battle. Yeah, that whole area in the Team Rocket hideout in Mahogany Town... I completely forgot you can circumvent that area just by, like, fighting trainers, essentially. That's your punishment for avoiding the exploding area. And, yeah, we lost both Smarty and Dratini in that area, and that was so devastating. Like, I wanted Dratini to make it really far, because, like, you don't ever really see an unevolved Dratini, right? And, admittedly, when I took my Dratini to one of the potential judges in one of the games later on, he's got some pretty terrible IVs. He's not really the best Rotini ever. I think I was mentioning before, back when they announced that hyper training is a thing, if I was to hyper train a Pokemon, probably Dratini would be one of my first choices because being unevolved, his stats are not super good anyway, and the fact that he has really low IVs makes him even less reliable in battle. But, hi Gyarados, what are you up to? You're kind of scary. You're a Scarados, if you will. But if you fall asleep, that'll be perfect. That is not perfect. Okay, that's some damage. 
Well, we know you can't get any grass attacks, and Skippy, you've got yourself a rock tomb, if I recall correctly. That's why I gotta do team recaps. It's been a week since I played this game, and I forget what they have, but I'm pretty sure we taught your rock tomb to deal with Winona's water- water? Flying type Pokemon. There's the rock tomb! And we connect the rock tomb. That's what I was waiting for. <sighs> Well, it's going to be a two-hit KO, at least, as long as we can land the second one. Yeah, it's only 80% accurate in this generation, if I recall. But, oh, and you're going to break through your own confusion? Go for the bite, are you? All right, goodbye. Work with me, Skippy. Come on. I know you've had a week off, but it's Christmas Eve. Give... You know what? Forget it. I'm just going to mud... Or, no, I'm not going to mud shot. That will do nothing. We're going to surf. Goodbye, Gyarados. Alright, not bad. Missing two out of three rock tombs, so technically that's 33% accurate. Doing the math. This kid's awfully tough. Thank you! Your eyes have that look of someone who's experienced harsh challenges and won. It suits you well. You're talking about Wally, aren't you? Mm -hmm. Where are we at? Route 131. I want to just get to the town. If we get attacked by trainers along the way, that's fine. No, you know what? I'm going to try to avoid them. I want to just get to town, because we are basically at time for the episode. Oh, Smarty needs a potion, but if we can avoid trainers, then we can heal up at the Pokemon Center in Pacific Log Town. And if we can avoid Pokemon, that'd be swell too, unless you want to be a shiny, which you are not, but maybe your buddy that shows up... Wait, you're level 32! Still not worth the experience, though. I am over five levels above you, and... Now, that's what I'm kind of considering for Pokemon Moon. I Oh, we made it to town. By going five levels above the wild Pokemon in each area in Moon, I'm kind of being over-leveled for some things, like uh, the Guzma battle, I was a bit high-leveled. I kind of needed the level, though, to manage to uh, win that one, but even the totem battles haven't been super challenging, but I guess I shouldn't make a choice on that just yet, because the last totem we fought, when its aura flared to life, every stat was boosted. So it's not just a defense boost or special defense or something like that, it actually got one boost in every stat, which was definitely intimidating, but we managed to win that one. I'm imagining later on we're going to see even more challenges like that, though, so... I guess I'll keep going to five levels above the wild Pokémon before each trial. But anyway, with that saving of the game, Pokémon Sapphire episode number 55 is complete for the day. I just want to say thanks for checking out today's episode. Thanks for taking time out of your Christmas Eve festivities to check out what I'm doing back here in Hoenn. I know it's not the most relevant game nowadays with moon, uh, Sun and Moon being the most recent ones, but for those of you still watching this, I enjoy your company, and thanks for sticking with the uh, series. We're almost done this game as it is, and if you missed any episodes leading up to this point, of course, as always, there's a link in the description down there. You can click on that for the full playlist and get caught up on all the episodes of Pokemon Sapphire you might have missed out on. And, of course, at the end of the video, there'll be some other videos. Sometimes I forget to put those up, so when I say, watch for some links to other videos at the end, and then there's nothing, until like the next day when I realize I forgot to put those. So I'm trying to get a little bit more uh, focused on getting those done in time. Sometimes I have to start uploading the video before I leave for the day, and as far as I know, there's no way on the mobile app to add in links like that. It has to be done on a PC, which I don't always have access to when I'm out and about, but that is a whole bunch of behind the scenes stuff you guys probably don't even need to worry about and probably don't even care about anyway. But, if you enjoyed the episode, feel free to toss a like down below. If you didn't, feel free to toss a dislike and just tell me how I can improve these videos for the future. And stay tuned tomorrow on Christmas Day for another episode of Pokemon Sapphire as we continue checking out Pacific Log Town. And I'll probably just do the route leading back to Slateport City. There's going to be a lot of flying back to try to get all the items and trainers on that route. So that might be my goal for the next episode. But if there's anything in particular you want to see me or want to see me do for the adventures in Sapphire before we go to the Elite Four, leave a comment down below. If I've missed anything, feel free to let me know what that is. I'll see if I can go back and get caught up on everything. I'm not sure what all there is missing. There's Meteor Falls, this route here, a lot of dive locations, trainers out on the vast open sea, the best of my ability or best of my recollection, that is all I can think of. So if I'm missing anything, as I say, leave a comment and let me know and I'll go back and check out whatever you guys have to say and remind me to check out. The Trick House. I gotta go back to the Trick House too. That might be in tomorrow's episode also. But we'll see what happens. Anyway, once again, thanks for watching today's episode. And again, Merry Christmas Eve, everybody. We'll see you back tomorrow on Christmas Day for another episode of Pokemon Sapphire. If you can tear yourself away from all of your presents and all of your awesome new goodies that you're going to be getting. And if you don't celebrate Christmas, and I want to feel like I am 
you know, excluding anybody, happy holidays for whatever holiday you celebrate around this time of the year. And if you don't celebrate a holiday at this time of the year, happy holidays to whatever holidays you celebrate out there, wherever you're watching this at. But with all that, Professor Chaz is done. I'm now signing off. Thank you once again for checking out today's episode, and I'll catch you tomorrow on Christmas Day.